Hey everyone, my name is Becky, I am 14 years old, and I have Crohn's disease, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to self-inject the Resuvo or Methotrexate auto-injector, and it looks just like this. And I decided to create this video because I had looked around YouTube and other websites for a tutorial or a video on how to do this myself, and unfortunately I really couldn't find anything from anyone my age, so I decided why not create my own video. So, here it is. It is the first of many Crohn's disease or IBD themed videos I hope to create. So let's get started. Before I begin, I would just like to clarify that I am not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. So I am only making this video off of my own experiences. And if you are using Resuvo or Methotrexate for the first time, I would recommend having a home healthcare nurse come to your house or go to a doctor to learn how to do it by a professional. Obviously, I have been doing Resuvo for a long time, so I know how it works and I know how to do it safely, but if you are doing it for the first time, I still recommend having a doctor or nurse show you how to do it. So, before you begin the actual injection, you just need to make sure you have all the necessary materials with you. So that includes, of course, the Resuvo auto-injector. I'm just going to take one out of the box should look like this. Um, I have the 10 milligram dose. Um, so just quickly check on the box and on the injector that it has the correct dose. Um, check the expiration date also. And make sure that the liquid inside looks normal and there's no cloudiness and that the injector is not broken or damaged in any way. Then aside from that, you're also going to need some hand sanitizer. A biohazard box for when you're finished to put the sharps in, um, a tissue or paper towel or regular towel or just something in case there's a mess, and then one to two alcohol swabs. I like to take two just in case I need them. Alright, so step one is to wash your hands very well with soap and water, and I know I included hand sanitizer on the materials list, which you will be using, but doing both, just make sure that your hands are super clean and no germs are going to come into contact with the injection site. Step two is to apply your hand sanitizer. And yes, I know it definitely seems like overkill since you just wash your hands, but since you're going to be doing the injection yourself, you do not want any germs in the area and you need to have super clean hands. And plus, it's an excuse to buy all those cool scented hand sanitizers, so why not? Step three is to prep the injection site. So I'm just going to take one of my alcohol pads, open it up, pull it out, and then I do my injections in my leg, so I'm just kind of have you see here, just wipe it around the entire area. Um, I find it helpful to wear shorts when I do an injection, but because I don't have to deal with rolling up my pants and stuff, but that's just personal for me. So then it's also very important after you do the injection not to touch the area until you're done with the injection because you've just cleaned it and you don't want to get any germs on the area. So step four is to actually do the injection. So you're going to take your box and open it up, take out your injector, and then, I know I said this before, but just make sure that the liquid, there's no cloudiness or particles in it, and that it is a see-through bright yellow. So I don't know if you can see, but it should look like that. There might be more or less in the actual thing, depending on the dose. And then your first step in actually getting the injector ready is to pull off the yellow top right here. So it feels kind of weird, but you're just going to kind of pull it back. So now, as you can see, the injector is ready. And basically, before I do it on myself, I'm going to kind of go over what you're supposed to do. So this right here, it's kind of like a spring. So you're going to take the part, so the needle's up here. So the circular clear plastic part around here. You're going to, so pretend like this is my leg or whatever going to press it down, all the way I'm not actually going to touch myself because it is not clean, but you're going to push this down and it should feel like a little spring. So you push this down as far as it goes and then the yellow button up here, you're just going to push it, hold it on your leg or stomach or wherever you're doing the injection and then count to five seconds just to make sure that all the liquid goes in and then you just take it off of the injection site and you should be good to go. Um, remember to wipe the site with an alcohol pad before doing it, and then 
if you would like to clean the bottom part with an alcohol pad, you can. It's not like required, like it's fine either way. Just make sure you don't touch this bottom part before you do the injection or after because it's not clean and you don't want to get any germs there. And when you are doing the injection, make sure you put it onto the site at a 90 degree angle. That way you know that the needle goes straight into your body and it, the medicine is going inside of you. And one more quick reminder, you should pinch the skin of the area that you're doing the injection just to make sure that it just goes into your skin because these injections are not supposed to go into your muscle or any other part of the body. So you just want them to go under your skin. So pinching the skin makes it hurt less and it also makes sure that it just goes into your skin. So don't forget to do that. And then one last tip before I actually show you the clip of me doing the injection. So if you open up the box here, there are these two like paper pamphlet thingies. One of them says patient information and then one says prescribing information. So if you take the one that says patient information, you slide the thingy off and open it up. It has a bunch of like, I'll show you. It looks really big and confusing, but there's a bunch of like little pictures on the sides and um, instructions on how to do it. So if you think that it will be more helpful for you to be reading something or looking at pictures, as well as using this video, I would really recommend taking that paper out of the box and using it because it is very helpful. It seems like a lot, but it's really just a bunch of pictures and then like bullets describing what you do. So if reading instructions or looking at pictures are helpful for you, I would really recommend using the pamphlet as well. So now I'm actually going to be doing the injection on myself. Um, I'm inserting a clip of me doing it because obviously I don't have three arms so I can't film and hold my skin and do it all at once because that would just not work at all. So I'm inserting a clip of me doing the injection and then I'm going to be prescribing what I'm doing and giving some tips and instructions on how to do. So as you can see, I pinch my skin, I place the injector on my leg, push the spring all the way down, and then I just push the yellow button, it makes a loud noise, I know, then hold for five seconds, and blow it off. And then step five, of course, would just be to take your used injector, place it into your sharps container or biohazard box, or whatever you call it, and call it a day. So I hope this video was helpful for you to safely and successfully complete your Vesuvo auto-injection by yourself. Um, if you like this video, please like it, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I really hope to be creating more Crohn's disease and IBD videos in the future, along with just some fun videos. Uh, if you have any suggestions for a video, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below, and I will try my best to make that happen. So. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and keep your eyes up for another video.